In this video, we're going to have a little bit of a challenge. We're going to kind of continue on from our intro series on the first test case uh, that run through that we did earlier. And uh, this challenge is we're going to go up to the home page and get the add to cart button. Uh, and I'm going to include the uh, script and the code that I have that's working up into uh, GitHub. And the purpose of this challenge is to kind of get you thinking like an automator SDET when you get presented with a problem. Motion has a very uh, interesting web design they do. They've got some elements on there that, that are that are not your norm or your standard. Uh, so this is to kind of challenge you a little bit to put you in a scenario where say you're the SDET or the automator you're out somewhere and all you have is an internet connection and you have to resolve a problem. But now this does present some uh, other things to it and I want you to just keep this in mind is when you're trying to resolve this issue ask yourself once I get it resolved was it worth the time that it took to get it resolved is it going to be worth the time to run these automation tests uh, doing this particular thing or is it better just to leave this to manual because even though I've got it resolved will the test be reliable will it run will or is it just hey this is just one of those that let's just we'll just keep it as manual so keep that in mind and also uh, kind of a second part of this challenge is for you to to get into problem solving and uh, and learning and, and that, to me that's the best way to learn is that they go okay this is what I want to do how do I do it what's all involved what do I need I've given you some hints in the test and some comments so go ahead and get those and just when you get frustrated or if you get frustrated just kind of walk away for a little bit and think about it but think of what you're trying to uh, to accomplish and I'll give you a couple of hints think about the hover uh, command in Selenium, how, how to do a hover and see what problems you may or may not encounter there. But at the end of the day, once, once you get this resolved, if it's resolved, sometimes the automation cannot do something just based on the way, it, uh, the, way the web page is built. And sometimes when it can accomplish it and you can figure it out, then you have to ask yourself, well, if I run this test 10 times, will it run successfully 10 times? Or will I have to always be in here tweaking this thing? And when you get to those type of uh, questions you're asking yourself, you have to kind of go, well, hey, we're just going to have to put this one in the, you know, cannot be automated section. And a lot of times that's fine with companies because they understand, okay, we've got 100 automated tests. We had 120 tests that we wanted to, to do, but it's just too cost prohibitive to try to automate those other ones because it, it, it just takes resources and time and stuff that we just don't have where if we just tested it manually we knock it out in you know 20 minutes so just keep that in mind so with that being said let's jump over here to our browser now since I've you know said in several of my videos we're always going to probably use uh, Chrome and uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, go out here to motion and Okay, so now we're gonna we're just gonna hit the motion page. Now you may have the uh, cookies pop, and I pretty much guarantee when you're running your automation, you will have it pops. So I've got stuff in there to handle to 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 close that. The little pop up says, "Hey, you know this this uh, website runs cookies. Do you want to accept, decline, or you can just close it?" So I've, I'm just closing it. So the first part of the test we're going to come here to the home page we're going to scroll down to the first element and you see what happens here when I put my mouse on it and you see that little when I hover over it it has that add to cart now that is where the problem is when you come here how did how are you going to know or how is selenium going to know where that add to cart button is it's not there until you hover so I said earlier, my little hint was go out to Selenium, do some Google searches, and search on Selenium, Hover, things of that nature. Okay, because once you hover it, then you can right-click and you can inspect this element. That's not a problem. So, and right there's your Add to Cart. But 
first thing you have to do is get it to go here. Now, I'll give you a little thing on the hovering sometimes, and, and you will encounter this. Sometimes your pointer will set here, and you can watch whenever you're running your automation test, that pointer won't move, and, and you're trying to, you can grab the hover and then uh, take and give it a uh, X and Y axis for it to come over to the element that you're wanting, and you'll see that mouse pointer not move, and then you'll see the little spinny wheel. Uh, the little blue wheel so you so you know that selenium is, is trying to grab it but he can't get it to move so when you hit those situations what do you start doing well me i started thinking well there are other alternatives that i can use um it, it, and, and so i'll start re do my research there now keeping in mind that when i'm doing that that's taking a lot of time for me to to figure that out and to resolve it and then once I kind of come up with a solution, then I try to test it. And if I spend, you know, a long time getting it resolved and getting it implemented, then I have to weigh out, okay, I understand it took me, you know, I had to do all this research to figure it out and, and to get where I needed to be. And that won't be the case the next time because I'll take my little code snippet and put my little secret code snippet file that I always keep with me. So if I ever go to other companies and I run into this account this again, I can pull out my little secret snippet code notepad file and go oh i'm just going to take there you are i don't have to do all that research again i just need to pull you in here because i know how you work i just need to tweak you for this new company so i take that into consideration then i go and i get it in and, you know if i have it resolved then i'll kind of look at it and i'll say well okay i've got it resolved i'm i'm running it and then i'm gonna run my test at, i like to run my test at least 10 times run it let it complete, complete successfully, run it again, run it again. I'll do that 10 times consecutively before I'll say, hey, yeah, this one's ready to go over to the night lease. If it starts failing in between there and I start tweaking it, you know, and I and I start looking, well, why is it, is it, is it a timing issue? Is it uh, something with the web page? Is it like uh, shadow DOM stuff in here that's causing problems? Whatever the case may be. And once I resolve that, then it starts, it's from wherever I can run the test. 10 times successfully I guess I guess is the point I'm trying to make without without any problem then I feel okay this can go into the nightly batch run or I feel comfortable signing off on this test now so this one's going to be a good challenge and the main point of this challenge is to get you as a if you're deciding you want to be an automation engineer or an estet is to understand when you encounter frustrating situations like this how to get them resolved, when you get them resolved, and then to weigh out, you know, what does it take to get them resolved? What does it take to implement this? And, and it causes the test to run successfully. Because I say it only runs six out of ten times whenever you do it. You know, so you're getting about 60% pass rate. Well, at that point, it's kind of, well, that's not, I don't think that's, that's good enough. Uh, so I don't think this is a good candidate. This test scenario is not a good candidate to be automated it's better to do it manual because you see manually i could come out in the motion page scroll right down hit that add to cart and there we go and this is where you want to end up at and what you what you if you get this to pop you can get it to pop successfully and you just check that one item out of the cart just send your test there and if you can do that and then come in the next day and do it and there's not a problem then you have created a successful test and now you know well yeah this one can be could be automated even though there was a lot of upfront uh, cost to getting it running but once I figured it out and got it going it's good but if you do it and so, say say you're using the uh, keys to do the hover over here and 60% of the time it'll grab your mouse and hover over the other 60% of the time it will not or, I'm sorry the other 40% of the time it will not then that's not to me it's not a good candidate for an automated test all right so here we are just we go right to the home page we scroll down to the first item. We hover over it. So this little uh, JavaScript thing will, will pop, and then we grab our add to cart. Okay. So here's what we have in PyCharm. It's all right here. I've even put the link to where the GitHub will be, uh, and and you can just grab this down. I put some comments in here. I've got the uh, test case script down here just so you can kind of follow along so let's uh hit this again and let's see what it does so i'm going to run it 
and we got the motion page popping. We're going to maximize. Then we're going to remove the uh, cookies thing. And we're right there. Now, when you do a scroll in uh, Selenium, it's not like you're doing it with the mouse where you see it kind of scroll. It kind of it goes right to where the page is because it's so fast. And this is the command that does this. And I put this, this is in a uh, variable. So we just kind of first item and then it uses the uh, window.scrolly y and then the inner height to get there. Now play with these, with these, um, put you a time to sleep up here. Uh, so it'll pause and put like a two or three and then even go out selenium and see well, what all values can I put in here. So play around with it. This one little test, very simple as it is, will teach you so much about the common things that you'll hit when it as an estet whenever you get out in the field so play around with these have fun with it and uh put in the comments what your resolution was uh what your determination was if you say hey yeah i finally got this to work by doing this but after running it's not reliable or robust so i would i would put this as a you know not not a good candidate to uh, automate okay so i think we'll wrap this video up here I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you got something out of this and we'll see you on the next one.